What's going on, y'all? It's JD Piquel with On3 today on The Hard Count. What are some absolute expectations that you can have of Alabama? Welcome into the hard count, the people show for everything that you know and that you love about college football. It happens here on a nearly daily basis. Nick Break is doing the heavy lifting. You can help drive the show at my Twitter page at JD Pacquel. We do polls. We do open ended questions. We do snippets from the show. We want to involve you into the content we do here as much as possible. So make sure that you follow me there. Alabama is coming off a season in which they finish second in the college football playoff race. A lot of storylines around Tuscaloosa with the transfer portal and NIL and this, that, and the other. They're finally, believe it or not, going to put the ball down and let the kids play. And there's a lot of things that I believe you can expect of Alabama, even if everything else goes to the dogs. Even if the world falls apart, Alabama, you can expect these things of them. These will be absolutes for Alabama, if you will. So without further ado, Alabama will, without a doubt, have a extremely lethal pass rush. Guy that maybe you heard of, maybe you haven't. His name is Will Anderson Jr. And he is a freak show coming off the edge for Alabama. Like absolutely just ruined their spring game. They had to take him out and say, Will, go chill out on the bench for a little bit. We got to run our offense and you're messing it up. And so you could probably deduce that, okay, you got a freak show on the edge. You're going to have to double him. If you're the opposition, you're going to have to put two guys on Will Anderson Jr. Okay. Double him. Well, guess what? That leaves one extra guy that you don't have blocking Dallas Turner. And Dallas Turner and Tuscaloosa, they think he's pretty good too. And he's also going to wreak havoc on your offense. So whichever way you slice it, I'm not great with numbers. I'm no goodwill hunting. But you just can't afford to double both these guys. Oh, by the way, they have some other defensive linemen down there. They have some other linebackers there, Henry Toto, that can also play quite a bit. So your offensive line... There's just not enough guys to block the guys that Alabama has coming. Simple arithmetic. Again, I'm not great with numbers, but that's the fact of the matter. The pass rush for Alabama will be filthy. Next, the secondary is going to be much, much better than they were a season ago. If you're an Alabama fan, you probably have nightmares these days of just 50-50 ball. After 50-50 ball in the national title game from Georgia. Stetson Bennett takes a three-step drop, puts it up there to A.D. Mitchell, comes down with it. That's not going to be the case this year. In 2022, Alabama is not going to be doing any of that. Okay, they got both their safeties coming back, and the corners should be vastly improved. Kool-Aid McKinstry gets another year under his belt and experience. Then Eli Ricks, highly touted recruit at one point in time, transfers from LSU, says, I want to go play for Nick Saban, Alabama, does so. I believe those will be your corners on opening day. And I think this secondary is going to be, at the end of the season, a strength for Alabama. Consider this. Nick Saban takes pride in everything he does, but he especially takes pride in being involved in coaching the defensive backs at Alabama. You don't think he's thinking about those 50-50 balls in the national title game? You don't think he's thinking about revamping this secondary and having them play to the standard that Alabama demands from all their positions? This secondary is going to be just fine. They're going to be a lot better in 2022 than they were in 2021. The third absolute that you can, without a doubt, expect from Alabama, this offense will be substantially more balanced. Last year, they ran the ball 46% of the time. Doesn't sound crazy, not a drastic statistic, but when you look at it, that was 101st in the country in terms of percent of the time they ran the football. Think about what you know about Alabama teams. They like to establish the line of scrimmage. I know there's been different evolutions within this offense since Lynn Kiffin's been there in college football as a whole. But the edge for Alabama has always been, we're going to have the ability to, if we so choose, run the football at will. Not to say they were bad at that a season ago, but the fact they only ran it 46% of the time should tell you a little bit of something. Now, granted, they had Jamison Williams and John Mechie on the outside, and they're gone to the NFL But enter in Jameer Gibbs to this offense, they're going to make for certain that he touches the football early and often. I would be wildly surprised if we don't see this number much, much higher. I would say north of 50% this time next year when we're talking about Alabama and their performance in 2022. Jameer Gibbs, of course, the transfer running back from Georgia Tech to Alabama 
for a lot of people's money, the best player in the ACC a year ago, he's going to get the football a whole lot, and it's going to be coming downhill at you. So Alabama, much more effective in running the football, I would imagine, this coming year with the addition of Jameer Gibbs. And just think about what that does for this offense. If you're just making running the football that much more of a priority, Jameer Gibbs is running the ball, you're going to have guys like Jermaine Burton wide open down the sideline, Tyler Harrell wide open over the middle. It's going to open up this offense that much more for your Heisman Trophy winning quarterback, Bryce Young. Dude can sling a little bit. We've seen him throw a dime or two over the last year. So to have the offense be more balanced and to have a real running back, one All-American kind of threat in Jameer Gibbs, Tatter going to be dangerous and a whole lot more balanced on offense because of that addition. And so finally, this is probably the most important absolute. It has nothing to do with the 11 guys on offense, 11 guys on defense, nothing to do with the scheme, anything like that. When it comes down to this Alabama team, you can bet your bottom dollar, you can mortgage the house on it, they're going to be motivated. And you say, Nick Saban's always got his teams motivated. They're always ready to play. Yes, but how often is he pulling from the external circumstances? He's pulling from the headlines. He's pulling from the rat poison, what this guy's saying, that guy's saying. I don't need to do any of that this year at Alabama. All Nick Saban has to do is say, remember that scoreboard last game of the year? Remember how that finished out? Y'all were finalists. Us at Alabama, we were finalists. We weren't champions last year. We don't do silver medals here at Alabama. The standard is gold. And so to have a guy like Bryce Young, your starting quarterback coming off a Heisman Trophy season, come out during the Manning Passing Academy and say last year was a failure. That should tell you a whole lot, a whole lot about where this locker room's head is at, about where this program's head is at, and just how hungry this team is coming into this coming year. The talent is there. The firepower is there. The roster is there. The coach is definitely there. Alabama's going to be hungry. They're motivated coming into 2022, and it's got nothing to do with anything with the external circumstances. So to recap, defensive line, the pass rush, it's going to be ridiculous. I'd be very worried about that if I have Alabama anywhere on my schedule. The secondary, a whole lot better. Borderline strength by the end of the year. No more 50-50 business with those corners and those safeties. Offense, a lot more balanced. Jameer Gibbs going to be toting the rock. That number is going to be north of 46% of the time running the football. Just going to open it up for more playmakers on this offense for Alabama, especially in the passing game. And finally, they're going to be motivated. They're going to be hungry. Alabama ready to roll that's it for us here on the hard count appreciate you tuning in subscribe to the channel follow me on twitter to stay with every single thing that we're doing here comment what you think below what your absolutes are for alabama the back and forth the community the dialogue that we have here as college football fans makes this special we're going to keep the party rolling and we will see y'all next time Hey y'all, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.